Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you a very interesting case law. Catherine Lee v. Lee's Air Farming Limited. Mr. Jaffrey Lee formed a company in the name and style Lee's Air Farming Limited in Canterbury, New Zealand for the purpose of carrying on the business of aerial top dressing. Aerial top dressing business is a business where aircraft is used for spreading fertilizers over farmland. This type of business was first introduced in New Zealand in the year 1940. The total share capital of Lee's air farming was 3000 shares out of which Mr. Jeffrey Lee held 2,999 shares and the remaining shares being held by a solicitor. Mr. Lee was also the sole director of the company. He exercised unrestricted power to control the affairs of the company and made all the decisions relating to contracts of the company. Mr. Lee was also appointed as the chief pilot who used to fly the aircraft for spreading fertilizers over farmland from air. In March 1956, Mr. Lee was killed while flying the aircraft during the course of aerial top dressing. Mr. Lee's wife, Catherine Lee, claimed compensation under the Workers' Compensation Act 1922. She was entitled to compensation only if Mr. Lee was a worker within the meaning of the Act, Workers' Compensation Act. The term worker was defined in the Act as any person who has entered into or works under a contract of service with an employer. The company opposed the claim made by Mrs. Catherine Lee on the ground that both Lee and the company were one and the same person. The company contended that Mr. Lee was owner of the company, having maximum number of shares in the company. So his wife is not entitled for workman compensation as he was not the worker of the company, but the owner. The Privy Council. Privy Council means the highest court of appeal, advised that the relationship of master-servant was created and Lee was a worker within the meaning of the Workers' Compensation Act. The court pointed out that one of the clauses of Articles of Association provided that Mr. Lee should be employed as chief pilot of the company and it was recorded in the minute book of the company. The entry was the proof of his appointment as a pilot. Lee piloted an aeroplane which belonged to the company. He performed top dressing contracts which were entered into by the company with various farmers. Any profits earned belonged to the company. He was paid wages by the company for this work and the wages were recorded in the company's wages book. The sum total of all these circumstances prove that Mr. Lee was the servant of the company. So Mrs. Catherine Lee, wife of Mr. Jeffrey Lee, was entitled to the compensation. In this case, the separate legal entity of a company was proved again. That's all for today and I hope this explanation of the case law will be helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching and listening.